It's like any other night. It was another normal night. Nothing special, nothing important. It goes in steps, goes as follows. First, I enter the space, take in the environment. It's anything, anywhere. It's a, night, it's a nightclub, a cabaret. Not with flashing lights, not with happy music. Dark and yet soft, jazz falling in here and there. I should know it, nothing's giving a sign. I wandered, I breathe it in. Second, I integrate into the surroundings. I drank the drink, ate the food, chatted with others, heard the chatter, laughter, music, out in the town. Nothing amiss. Third, occurrence, a small event. Lights dimmed, it quieted down. We gathered eyes to the stage. A performance, girls, jazz, flashes of red, red, red wine, red curtains, hints of red light, red garters, red chairs, red pansies and bras, all of it red against the pale, supple skin. A contrast of an apple's flesh to its juicy, succulent innards. It rises, red in the climax, it builds. The music, the number, the movement, it builds, and then stops. Fourth. Lights up, normal again, chatter again. Realm of familiarity, realm of normality. I breathed it in, I looked around, normal, all normal. Then I looked, looked down, red, a fountain of red, a stream of red gushing from no source, no pain, no sting. I felt numb and yet felt panic. It overwhelmed and choked me, choked my breath until it was stuck in my throat. I looked around, looked around to the others. The others chattered, chattering away, nothing amiss. Realm of normality. I spoke calmly at first, and then I screamed. <laughs> Chattering on, and again. I stood utterly alone in a crowd of others, my guts bleeding out though I couldn't feel it. I moved towards the closest door, the red streaming out with every step. It flows out, it closes around until... Time. It passed. It usually does. Then another normal night. Nothing special. Normal. First, I enter the space. Take in the environment. It's anything, anywhere. Familiar this time. A street, an interstate, a small cluster of buildings, the fence, the meadow, the bridge, the sidewalks. Familiar. Driven down it many times before. Familiar. Nighttime. Spare cars go up and down. Headlights focused ahead and locked down. Void. Void of color. No color. No hue, no wash, colorless, colorless void, a wash of headlights against the dark, colorless. Second, I integrated into the surroundings. I drove down the fork with the elk by my sides. This time, I walked it, walking home, eyes ahead, mutual expression, realm of familiarity, realm of normality. No jacket, no pants, no shoes, no need. Only thing amiss, I ignored it. I kept walking, a steady pace under my feet. Nothing amiss, realm of familiarity, realm of normality, appearance, only thing amiss, that was all. Third, occurrence, a small event, this time, the flow of headlights. Fourth, realm of familiarity, realm of normality. I breathed it in, I looked around, normal again, all normal. Then I looked, looked behind, a truck pulled up behind and stopped, stopped on the same side I was walking on, truck turned off, a door opened, I didn't think at that moment, I fled, ran, used the legs my mother gave me, the runner's legs that trek trails and ski the mountains, the runner's legs that were bare with nothing covering. They were on the chase. I knew they were on the chase. I didn't turn, didn't look around, just began running the 4.7 miles it took to get home. Home where I'd be safe. Home where they wouldn't find me and catch me and take me and shove me away and hide me away and keep me disappeared off the surface of the earth, never to be heard from again, only to writhe in unfamiliarity, used to my core, kept inside and chained like an animal. I ran and ran until... Time. It passed. <laughs> it usually does.